What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Zora Ariana, and it ain't nothing but straight talk with my guy, Casey Austin. I be lit, 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 ain't nobody lit as me. I be fresh, 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 ain't nobody fresh as me. I do all my work at school, all A's, not a B. It's Straight Talk 901, episode number six. I got my best friend, Zuri Ariana, in the building. What's up, Zuri? What's up, y'all? How, how everything been going with you? It's been going awesome. It's been going awesome. Mm -hmm. You got a lot going on right now. You excited? I'm very excited. All right, cool. So check this out. You got any new music you've been working on lately? Yes, I yes I do. Mm -hmm. Not released yet. Yeah, I'm working on it, but it's not released yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So let me ask you this though, um, to the people that don't know, how old was you when you first started getting into the music? How old are you now? Tell the people how old you are now. Um, I'm eight years old. I'm gonna be nine in July, but I started when I was five years old. Five years old. What what made you want to get into doing music? Uh, so like, my dad started rapping, and I used to start hearing him coming up with uh raps to the beats and stuff, and I thought it was fun, so I wanted to do it too. You thought it was fun. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this: when you when you did your first song ever. Okay, when, how was the experience going into the studio recording it? Um, I was very excited. Like, it was my first time doing it, so yeah, I was very excited. Were you nervous? Yeah, I was really nervous. How did you overcome your your the nervousness? How did you overcome that fear? Um, when I start recording the song, I noticed like I noticed that. Wait a minute, this is not that hard. Right. So then I can't tell. I would never think you was ever nervous going into nobody's studio the way you be spitting them bars. <laughs> I ain't never I would have never thought you was I, I'm nervous sitting here with you right now. Cause you 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 bigger than me out here in these streets right now. I feel little in here with you, Zuri. <laughs> I feel like I ain't nothing right now. <laughs> Can I buy a dollar? <laughs> but nah, for real. So let me ask you this. So when you finally got the record recorded. And they played it back and you heard yourself on that beat. What was that experience like? It was like, at first, when I was recording it, I was like, it's probably not going to be that good. But when I actually heard it, I was very surprised. Right. I was surprised. Right. Was you excited? Yes, I was very excited. And you, that was it from there, right? Yep. And then right. I just started blowing up and stuff. So look, man, I ain't trying to toot my own horn or nothing. But uh, we done did some work together, Zuri. Mm -hmm. I feel like the president when I get through working with you, Zuri. You give me the easiest run. Like every time I work with grown folks, it'd be so hard and difficult. But you you show up, you take care of your business, your swagger be on point, your attitude be right. You stay talking mm -hmm. about them good grades. Mm -hmm. So what, what's, the, what's your favorite song? What's your favorite song that you got that you've done so far? I think it's my first song ever, Lit. Lit. Mm -hmm. I love Lit. Lit was good. We packed the school out. You had all your cousins and, and, and my son was in there and family. Yeah. It was a good it was a it good was thing. fun. So <clears throat> Lit came out originally with just you on it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you had a special feature. Mm -hmm. Uh a Nickelodeon sensation. Lele. Yeah. How was that experience? Being oh my god. I first heard her remix to my song on Christmas. That was, yeah, that was one of my Christmas gifts, y'all. I was excited. I was, I started jumping on the couch. I was screaming. I was lightheaded at the, at this point. <laughs> I was really, but yeah, I got really, really excited because Lele is one of my favorite rappers and she did a remix to my song. Yeah, that's, that was exciting. That's super dope. Mm -hmm. I, I can't get a feature from, from the dude next door when I was rapping. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a blessing you got a feature. So let me ask you, uh, who is your favorite female artist in the industry? Uh, can I choose two? You can choose two. Me and that girl, Layla. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. See, you, you just, I don't even know what to say now, uh, Zuri. <laughs> All right, that's cool. That's cool. So I want to talk about... uh. What's that you got in your hand? Oh, uh, this is <laughs> Zuri Ariana collection. Zuri Ariana collection. Yeah. Lip gloss. Yeah. So what, how did that come about? So I really don't know. Like 
basically, I was standing in my dining room, and all of a sudden, I started thinking, I want to start my own lip gloss business because my mother, she has her own business. So I wanted to do my own business too. I wanted to see what it was like. So then I started getting all the things and now here we go. Here we go. So I see you've been out of town selling it. My mm -hmm. daughters bought some. They love their lip gloss too. Good quality mm -hmm. lip gloss. So for the people out there, what, what can they get your lip gloss? How, how can How can they... Tell the people how they can contact you for, to, to get this lip gloss. They can go to www.zuriarianacollections.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you can get it. All right. What about your IG? Can they DM you in the IG? Yes, my Instagram is Zuri underscore Ariana. There you go. All right. So what's next? You got anything else you would like to add to that lip gloss? You plan on making bracelets or lipstick one day, expanding the business? I have a lot of things that I want to add. Let's just say I want to add backpacks, okay. like school supplies for kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe like sleeping bags or useful stuff like that. What about stuff for old people? Like with my receding hairline. So you could come out. <laughs> you could come out with like a regimen for my hairline only. <laughs> um, you think it'll work? Look at it. You think it'll work? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Dang. Well. You got me? <laughs> um, I can try. We'll make something. We can work something out. Okay, cool. So when you went out of town with your lip gloss, uh, I heard you sold out the lip gloss. So what cities were you in when you were on the road with the lip gloss? Uh, I went to Orlando. Orlando, Florida. Yeah, okay. Atlanta. And I think that's all, right? Yeah, that's all. That's I went all? to... Orlando and Atlanta. So what did it feel like when you went there with all that lip gloss? At first, I went there with a pack of lip gloss. Then when I came back, we sold out. Okay. It was real fun. It was real fun. Yeah, then I was traveling with my family. You know, I love to spend time with my family. So, yeah, that was, I had a good experience. So family is super important to you too, right? Yes. Right. So uh, shout out to your little brother too. <laughs> big dump we're gonna shoot big dump out we can't leave big dump out mm -hmm. so uh how, how is the experience being in the studio with with your three-year-old brother watching him drop tags on a couple of your songs it was funny it was really surprising because i didn't know that he knew how to do it and right. he was at the age of three mm -hmm. and i was shocked at okay. this point right right so, you know, speaking of family, your little brother look up to you. So everything you're doing, it's just like brother, brother, sister, 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 brother. We all feed off each other. So you, you teaching your brother positive things, and that's good. So um, another thing you got going on, uh, you play basketball, too. Yes, I do. All right. You like basketball? I love basketball. You love it. What you mm -hmm. love about basketball the most? Um, I really just wanted to start basketball because – I thought it was fun. I just like to do things for fun. Sports. Yeah. You athletic? Mm-hmm. You don't ever get tired running up and down that court? Mm -mm. You think you could beat me running? How far you think I could run before I collapse? Because my stomach uh, <laughs> 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 Maybe like, I'll say two miles. Two? Ooh, that's good. I appreciate that. So you could do about three or four? Maybe 10. So Okay, cool. So who do you play for? <laughs> Uh, the Junior Grizzlies at junior, the Croc Center. Junior Grizzlies at the Croc Center. That's that's a good team. I hear a lot about them. So y'all play a lot of games? Yeah, we usually do it every Saturday. So you play for a co-ed team, girls and boys, or, or, or is it just girls? Girls and boys. So how many other girls on your team? I'm the only girl. Really? Mm -hmm. So you get all the experience in, you dominate, strong. So if, when you go to school and you go to an all-girls team, it's going to be tough on them. You gonna play in junior high school and high school? Maybe. Maybe. You yeah. would you choose your music over basketball when you get a little older? If you had to choose one or the other. Maybe I would choose rapping. Rapping? Yeah. Okay. Because you have more passion for rapping, right? Yeah. Okay. I have passion for both of them, but I feel like rapping is my main one. Rapping is your main one. Yeah, you real mm -hmm. good at that rapping for sure. Mm-hmm. All right. So we gotta get us another music video in soon. 
I know you can't tell the people about it, but I need to know what's next. It's been a minute. I need more followers. <laughs> like every time we get through shooting, I be getting hit up. It's been dry lately, Zuri. <laughs> <laughs> I need some followers, Zuri. You got me? I got you. All right, bet. You got the Money First Kids shirt on. Yep. Explain what Money First Kids is to the people. Money First Kids is just a group of me and my cousins. Yeah, it's a group of me and my cousins. And then, yeah, that's it's pretty much it. It's more like a label. It's, yeah. Y'all, y'all, so you always got the Money First Kids with you in your videos. Yeah. So y'all like a a, 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 a team, a group. Of, oh, yeah. Right. So they dance. Mm -hmm. They be in your video singing along with you. They like your hype man. So do you feel like they play a big part in, in your music, in your career? Yeah, they play a really big part. Like, like, see, sometimes when I perform, it makes me feel nervous if I'm without them. But I could I could perform without them, but I'm saying I would be really nervous if it wasn't for them. So, yeah, they play a really big part. So in, all of y'all true cousins, blood. Mm -hmm. Blood in, blood out cousins. Yeah, that's my uh yeah. they're my blood cousins. For sure. It's a lot of y'all. You got a big family. That's a blessing, Zuri. That's one percent of them. You said that's one percent of them? Yeah. So it's more? Yeah. Kids too. Grown ups, Ooh, kids, we. there's way more. Hey, it'd be a lot of adults out there supporting you too, Zuri. When we was mm -hmm. at Bing Hampton Park, that was lit. They, oh, they, yeah. they came out to support. They let us pull the truck up on the basketball court. Get that was on top scary. of their rim. That How was, was that experience for you sitting on top of that tall basketball rim? Oh, you was nervous, Zuri. I was so but nervous. Look, when you got up there, when they cut their video on, they can't tell you was nervous. No. Yeah, but it was scary. Like, I thought <laughs> I thought I was going to fall off. For sure. Hey, we would have caught you, though. We would, you wouldn't have failed. <laughs> no, for sure. Now, let me ask you this. Your very first music video, lit. Mm -hmm. Right. That was how was that experience shooting shooting your first music video, setting up all that lighting, and you had a schedule, a timing for people to be there. Some people were late, so we had to rush a little bit. We had to hurry up and get out to school. You see, it it, it become fun, and it was, then it becomes business. How yeah. was you able to separate the two emotionally during that time? Like you having fun, but now we got to really put in this work. So, yeah, basically, when I'm shooting a video, I know, like, first of all, I got to put it, I got to put in the work before we have fun. Then I do all that. Then after that, we can have fun in the video. Right. But you also it's, have fun during the shoot, though. Yeah. Because, number one, you're doing something you like. Mm -hmm. They say you never work when you're doing what you love, right? You kind of mm -hmm. disagree a little bit, then. I ain't like the way you looked at first. It's kind of, you still got to grind, right? It ain't yeah. always going to be fun, right? Yeah. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> so it's cool. Not, it's not always going to be fun. Right. So what is it like seeing that final product of your music video? When you cut on TV, you can put it on a big screen. <laughs> I was shocked. When it first came out, I was watching it, and I just started jumping out of, out of my seat. How many times you watch it the first night? The first night, probably like five times. Five times. That's a lot. Now, I watched that joint a thousand times editing it. So, it's all good. I enjoy working with you. So, let me ask. I, I got to ask you this uh, uh, for the people, just for me. How do you mm -hmm. feel working with me, Zora? It's amazing. I know I be out of breath because of my stomach, but. I don't me. really care. <laughs> <laughs> How, what's the experience like do do you what can i do to make your experience better or are we already 100 with everything we already 100 with everything you ain't got to do nothing to make me feel better i feel comfortable yeah i feel comfortable yeah, working you're young with you. and i work with nolan i work with Luke yeah Carter. i'm gonna start working with other kids sometime soon you know but i just what can you tell them what 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 positive thing can you tell them about shooting with Casey Austin Productions? Casey Austin Productions, I would prefer him over anybody shooting the video. He makes you feel comfortable, say positive things. I prefer you work with him. Do I act like a kid sometimes? Yeah, but that's that's what I like about you. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I just wanted to put because I'm a big kid myself. <laughs> I'm all for the kids. We're gonna wrap this thing up. Um, but what I want you to do, I like to leave on a positive note. I want you to look into the camera and I want you to give the best advice you can get you can give to all the kids out there that's struggling, all the kids that feel like they can't make it, um, all the kids that fear stepping up and and, and putting them to make it.
Okay, what I have to say is I want y'all to focus on school. That's the main thing. And second, don't let nobody tell you what you can and you can't do. What you want to do, that's what you do. Um, third of all, just I want to tell you this. You can do it. Okay, whatever you want to do, you can do it. Okay, that's all I have to say. All right. Straight Talk 901. It's a wrap. Zuri Ariana. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Zuri. And today I'm going to be telling y'all about my business cards. So first we're going to start off with the barcode. The barcode, you can scan it and... Casey, pay attention. Gotcha. Okay, anyways, you can scan the barcode and then it'll quickly run my website and it has all my socials on here. So make sure y'all go follow and subscribe and stuff. So yeah, make sure y'all go check that out. Bye y'all.